woman is telling her story tonight about how one policeman changed her life years ago. 23 ABC's Vanessa Romo joins us now on how this woman and her new cop friend are trying to change the lives of others here in Kern County. Vanessa. Anna Williams and Officer John Puga spoke to dozens of people tonight at the mission, sharing their story and shedding light on the darkness in Kern County, hoping to save a life just like Anna's. Anna Williams was a drug addict and dealer in and out of jail for years until one night eight years ago. They raided my house. I was in the car. Officer Puga came and got me out of the car and stood me in front of him. Kern County Sheriff's Deputy John Puga arrested her that night and she said it was then when her eyes were open to what she had been doing all these years. What I was doing to the children, what I was doing to the people out there and how he was trying to save them and how he was trying to get them off, the, get it all off the streets. And I'm over here doing it. Told me pretty much what a menace to society I was. Anna went to prison that night and with her, Puga's words. He said a couple things to me that stuck with me and you know, I had said something to him and he told me, Anna, don't talk to me. I'm not your friend. We are not friends. And when she got out, she found him, thanked him, and formed a friendship. And like her, Puga wants people to know that the police are not their enemies. We're not, you know, we're not out there, you know, with a badge and a gun just to take everybody to jail and just, you know, throw everybody behind bars. There's there's ways that we, we do things that we actually can afford you know, reflect the community in a good way. So they came together Sunday night at the mission to share their stories. And like others at the mission, Puga had a childhood that affected him. My, my real father was not, was not a, a good person. Um, he had a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, womanizing addiction. Um, uh, he was very abusive. And Puga says he didn't want to be like him, but to help those like his father. And with both their stories, they are now speaking to crowds, hoping to turn people's lives around like Anna's was eight years ago.